Seven Lynch for Red Carpet New Zealand here at the Civic at the HP 48 Hour Film Festival, the grand finale. Now, around New Zealand, a couple of months ago, hundreds of people submitted films made in just 48 hours. And tonight, we are finding out who the best of the best are. So, yeah, we're gonna chat to some interesting people. We're here with Lucas, who's a program lead for the Bachelor of Creative Media Production at Massey University. Now, Massey, obviously a sponsor here at 48 Hours, and Lucas, the involvement in this whole event. Why is it so important? Uh, well, we think it's, pretty, we think it's very important because we're very interested in seeing what the sort of new generation of filmmakers are going to do, uh, and we're very excited to be able to sponsor the award and just kind of you know, foster that sense of, of young filmmakers. So we're here with Gaylene Preston. Gaylene, tell us, why are you here this evening? Well, I'm one of the 8%. I'm one of the 8% of women who direct films every year. Actually, it's 7%. 7%. And so the 48 hours is so good. And you just keep seeing wonderful talent coming every year. So I decided about 10 years ago to give a Best Female Director Award. And it's grown like the 48 hour and there's a lot more women and that's what I'm here. Okay, so we're here with one of the teams that won Best Ultra. Yes, that's correct. Tell us. Uh, yeah, we won Best Ultra and we won Wellington and it was, uh, it's one of the greatest years of our life, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big year, it's been a big year. It was, uh, it's weird that the awards happened first, we were very unexpected so when our name came up it was a uh, big moment, it was awesome. Well, we got Ultra, which means you had to do a sequel to one of your past films. So we did our very first film, which was from eight years ago, I believe it was. And um, we carried it on, and some of the actors who couldn't be there phoned in the performances, and we added them in. So, yeah, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, um, it was awesome. Like, when we first did it, we did it in standard definition, on, like, mini DV tapes. It was, like, our first year in the film competition, 48 hours, and to revisit the same thing with, like incredibly talented people it was a blast. Suddenly we get to make a real slick, awesome film. And what was the most challenging element uh, to incorporate into the actual film? You know, you had a couple of things that you need to... Visual yeah. effects. Visual effects, effects, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. Uh, we had like 31 visual effects shots, I think, because we were changing everyone's eyes to look demonic. So that was a very busy uh, 24 hours after the first 24 hours where we were busy shooting, so... But um, logistically, yeah, a lot of locations as well was what kept us busy on Saturday. Well, well done. You won out. Best Ultra, eight years later. Boom. Done. Hands in. <laughs> so we're here with one of the teams that uh, came second. Is that right? Yep. So tell us, team name. Missing Pixels. And film name. A Friend for Life. What were some of the most difficult things that you encountered whilst filming? Although. Perceivably, it looked like a simple film. I can imagine it was rather difficult to to do. Script, script is always the, the most difficult thing. Filming it is sort of it's sort of easy comparatively, but it's it's all about script. So we spent 24 hours on the script, and then the rest of it was filming. We didn't start filming until. I don't know, 8 o'clock the next day, so 8 o'clock in the evening the next day. So it was all about the script. I think the script is what's most important, particularly in this film anyway. Every year the competition gets better and better and there were some incredible films this year and we're incredibly lucky and surprised to, be, to have received second place because there were incredible films. Just to thank the University of Auckland because we're actually media productions of the University of Auckland. So we need to thank them for their uh, kind facilities. Well, thank you all so much and well done. We're here with Best Female Director, Best Director, and Best Film. How do you feel? Um, over the moon. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's um, it's awesome to actually win against such incredible competition. Uh, the 48 just gets better every year. Um, yeah, we just thought that the, the the standard was super high, and although we felt like we did a really good film, I thought there were other films there that could have taken it out. So uh, it makes it even sweeter to uh, take it out over such you know great talent. And how do you feel having won out? 
this evening? I'm just happy that we won. It's my first time like doing this type of thing. So it's just yeah. incredible. Yeah. You have a long career ahead of you, guys. Well done. He turned Thank up you. and he was the best professional. Yes. We didn't know each other and he was just wonderful to work with. I think he's going to go really, really far. Really far. He's amazing. So, Gaylin, you're standing alongside Lauren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this young lady winning the award? This is a clean sweep. And the last time I remember anybody doing a clean sweep, it was Taika. Taika. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, sports fans. He is a role model. He's a trailblazer for us internationally right now. That's yeah. huge. Thank you. No pressure. Right. No, no. We can do it. We can, <laughs> we can, we can all do it too. Yeah. Both sexes. Hey, t <laughs> as a turning point for uh, women directors in the 48 hour in New Zealand. And as far as I know, the female director award is the only one in the world in the 48 hour film competitions. So we're leading the world. Now on that note, leading this festival, leading the awards, any words you'd like to say to your fans, anyone out there wanting to participate in future? Oh, well, I definitely would like to make a note that New Zealand seems to be a country that does promote female directors even before this. But, um, I don't know, I hope to just keep making great stories that have a global attraction. So we're here with Best Actress, yes. as well as third place winners. <laughs> Fantastic. So, how do you feel? I'm very overwhelmed. Um, I think that we were all kind of surprised because it's, it's our first time, but um, we all just had a really great time and we're so happy. Yeah. And tell us the team name. Southern Bells. Southern Bells? Yeah, yeah Southern Bells. Got that? Got Christchurch? Yeah, that's uh, Connor and I who um, wrote and directed together and yeah. Beth. Um, we're from Christchurch and we actually moved up here to work in TV and films, so that's kind of a shout out to our Christchurch roots, hope, that yeah. name. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so coming out of this, yeah. there's got to be something else because, correct me if I'm wrong, first year, third place, best actress. 563 others. You, 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 you beat them. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. So what's next? Um, well, more movies. Yeah. yeah. More movies. Yeah. Let's come around this side. Let's come around this side. Oh, God. Absolutely. Hollywood, I think that's the next step. Uh, we'll see how we go. I think Connor will try and sort something out. So, yes. yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. talk of using the prize money for another short film. So, uh, thank you so, so much to the sponsors and to the team at 48 Hours. It's such a cool competition. And um, yay for, like, best female character being one of the thing elements that we had to use. That was awesome. Um, yeah, we just had a really fun time. So, thank you so much.